just good old fun music we can all groove and chill to. Stay tuned right here on the Iconic Playlist. This is the Iconic Playlist. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we are talking about the Beatles now and then music video. So I've talked about what I think about the overall song, so I will not really be redundant with that. So I will not say my overall opinions on the actual song. This is purely about the video. When I first heard the song, I obviously recognized that there was Paul McCartney in the background. Around the minute 15 second thing, they had him like backing up John Lennon. I never realized it was both Paul and Ringo until I seen this music video because they had both of them there. And that makes sense because I kind of just figured they double tracked John and they double tracked Paul maybe. Because you know, generally speaking, John was always double tracked anyway. I heard that John Lennon didn't really like his voice on a single track, so when they doubled it, he liked it more. So I think generally he was always double tracked I'm assuming they did the same thing here but um anyway it was really cool seeing that the whole video was like a tribute to the band they incorporated the 95 footage when they were or 94 94 94 95 footage uh, when they were working on like the other songs and originally trying to work on now and then I liked how they incorporated older videos of like George and John Lennon standing next to him all four of them together was really cool to see you know the overall video it was like a real tribute to the Beatles as the band recognizing hey this is our final song this is what we're going to do this is how we're going to go out and we just want to make it special and they really did make it special a lot of the times with songs I noticed the music videos don't really make much sense for the song it's like either just like random people dancing or or like a party or something or driving and it's like you know, a lot of times they're generic. There's there's some cases where it's not like that, obviously, but just generally speaking, especially with music nowadays, I was just listening like a few weeks ago to a new song that came out like only a couple of years ago by Justin Bieber, and it was a Christmas song, and they had like an animated video for the music video and the video made no sense for the song it was like a song about two people you know spending time together and the video was like this like insane anime snowboarding <laughs> like it was it was really random and that seems to be how a lot of songs are generally now is like randomness with no correlation to the song or they're overstating a point so much that it takes all imagination out of the song and directs it to this their exact meaning of whatever they want it to be and it's, it's a lot of times it ruins the experience generally speaking but with this this added to the experience of the song in my opinion i think this video was just a phenomenal video they couldn't have made it any better like i liked the song a lot before but watching the video with the song made the song way more of an experience way more special just like how the get back series did you know you could hear just the get back second disc on the special edition CD where you hear like somebody out takes and stuff actually seeing it and stuff is just like a whole different experience and I felt it was very similar to this it felt like an extension of the get back series just with one song and, and a four minute mu music video you know I think it was just very very special I hope it gets a lot of views on YouTube and kind of redirects the music industry a bit you know the Beatles were trendsetters originally they they redefined music the whole music genre the whole music industry before so maybe they'll do it again now you know we're living in a time now where there's a brand new rolling stones album in like what 18 years there's a final beatles song all together just like it's the 1960s now in 2023 it's a pretty special time to be in i will make another video of my thoughts of the beatles now and then versus one of the songs on the rolling stone album because i'd like to do a comparison of that i think it's it's kind of a cool comparison it was also really amazing how they had um different scenes of of the Beatles incorporated with each other. Like I mentioned, they were standing all together, which was cool, but then they even went further as like Paul McCartney's young self was poking at Paul McCartney now uh, sitting down, which was really funny. And then there was like Ringo slamming on the front of the drums while the old Ringo is just like banging on the drums now. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. There was one where like uh, Paul was reaching over and grabbed a, uh, a drum cymbal and like moved it out of the way. It just, it was really real and really cool how they did it it didn't really feel that fake uh when they were all standing together it looked a little bit 
off like slightly where you couldn't really point out why it looked a little bit off but it did like when it was George in his uh, Sergeant Pepper's outfit and Ringo and Paul and then John in his with the guitar it looked a little tiny bit off but then the rest of it looked seamless like it was just like oh, oh yeah they're just there like it looked really real and it's just amazing how they did it and I wasn't really really expecting that I was kind of expecting the music video just to be kind of like random collages maybe a couple of clips of them in the studio you know I wasn't really expecting much I was just expecting a small tribute and they really went above and beyond with the music video they just they just took it to a whole new level it's honestly one of the best music videos I have ever seen I can't really think of another music video where I think it actually enhanced the song well I guess for well Williams happy song that music video does extend the song even more so because this is funny the way they have it done so it adds like a humorous factor to it it's enjoyable in a different way where you like the song but the video is really funny too but it doesn't it doesn't enhance it in the same way where this really really makes a song special that one just makes a song funny this one makes it special <laughs> so I guess those are the two music videos I can think of that really do that but besides for that like I can't really think of many music videos that extend the music to a whole new level. You know, I know uh, people like Michael Jackson are known for their music videos, like with Beat It, for instance, where he's like in the garage park and stuff. And they're, those are cool, but again, it's like, it doesn't really improve the song or really make it like that much more special you know there's modern songs like live rodrigo driving in the car for driver's license which you know it's fine for what it is you know it's actually showing thing i was driving down the street you know they're actually showing driving down the street it's it's fine it's not bad but it's not really making the song a next level memorable experience beatles did that with now and then and it is very very special. I do hope you enjoyed this small little commentary about the Beatles Now and Then. This has been such a great experience. I've been enjoying making videos on Now and Then because it's just, it's really cool to be alive with a Beatles song. <laughs> so yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more music-related videos.